What are the, what are the targets you're setting for yourself on Saturday? What do you think is going to happen? Well, what I'm finding is that um, Matt Keane has uh, pretty well destroyed the New South Wales Liberal Party. Alan Jones, who knows uh, that organisation going back to when he, he wrote speeches for Malcolm Fraser, uh, says uh, these days, and I think Alan's got it right, there is no New South Wales Liberal Party, not in the sense of who they were. It's a new green Keane concoction that uh, their voters don't recognise. And uh, when it gets to the point where time after time, I, I had a lot of it today on the Camden pre-poll, uh, traditional uh, conservatives, traditional Liberal Party supporters, I can't support a party that's got Matt Keane because he has so far debased their political ideology, their principles and their purpose, they don't recognise it and, and, and they, they're supporting One Nation. So we, we get disaffected Labor Party people, but many more in this election are disaffected Liberals who won't vote for a Matt Keane organisation. What sort of resultant seats have you got your fingers crossed for? Well, we got two last time in the upper house. I, I, I think we can grow to three, so that uh, two plus three is five. And in the lower house, you know, the polling that Andrew Quinnell had earlier on indicates uh, across Western Sydney, we're 10, 15 per cent of the primary vote, and there might be the odd seat where our primary starts with a two. So that would be uh, growth, uh, the sort of growth you want, where you no longer would be necessarily a, a strictly a minor party. You're becoming a bit more significant in determining election results and, and hopefully holding balance of power in the upper house. If we've got a Labor Green government in the lower house, you'll need us in the upper house as an insurance policy against the worst extremes of Labor and Green. So you know One Nation, what we stand for. We don't surrender on any front and uh, we'll be fighting for our principles over the next four years. Well, all the best to you. Uh, I think we need uh, some sensible voices, particularly on global warming, before it ruins the country and in identity politics, which we see is threatening the country right now. Mark Latham, mm. thank you so much for your time.